Hi, today we're at the world famous Pier 39 in San Francisco, California. We're going to explore the restaurants and shops and see what this place has to offer and if it's still worth coming to this tourist attraction. So thanks for joining Cat and Panda's food destination and let's see what this place has to offer. The only in San Francisco souvenir shop the Pier 39 sign, the Ride the Flyer ticket booth, the AT machine along with the ticket and attraction information booth, the Well Watching Tour Shop, the Wipeout Bar and Grill, the Bischoff Coffee Corner, and we're looking at the world famous Bodine Cafe, where you can get your sourdough bread along with your clam chowder, bread bowls, pastries, drinks, souvenirs, and other stuff you'd like to get at Bodine's. Your Wipeout Hot Dog Cart for your world famous Nathan Hot Dogs. The Mrs. Fields Oh So Good Shop for Cookies and Brownies. A ice Cream Billboard Poster. The Hooks Fish and Chips Restaurant. The Lids for Hats and Other Accessories for Your Head. The Frequent Flyer Ride where you can try to jump to the moon if you want. The Trish Mini Donuts Gourmet Coffee and Expecial Drinks, your Taco Cantina. So we're looking at the Golden State Store along with the Gelato Cafe, the Tacos Cantina where you can get all your tacos and Mexican foods, the Chocolate Shop for Chocolate Lovers, the Crab House Restaurant, The Expedition Store, the Nahuku Sto Shop, the Crepes Cafe, the Wilders West Store, the Magic Shop. We have the Kibogor Store where you can get souvenirs, clothes, and other accessories about San Francisco stuff. We have the I Love San Francisco stores where you can get the other San Francisco accessories. We're looking at the San Francisco Gold Shop. We have the Pier Market Seafood Restaurant for all you seafood lovers. We have a hot lick store. We have another Bishop Coffee Corner coffee booth. We have a keychain store. And we're looking at Carmel's Honey Company store. So as we're walking through this Pier 39, the weather is pretty good. It's about mid-afternoon, and you're looking about probably, I would say, in the 70s. The weather is really great out here. I mean, the walk is pretty cool, and it's a breeze. And the shops here are, are pretty nice. I mean, it's not that crowded, actually. I'm surprised it's not crowded, especially on a weekend. But it's good, because, you know, when it's crowded, it feels like you're getting stuffy, lots of people... You know, sometimes you don't want to be there because of the crowd, but it's not. So, yeah, I would say, you know, it's a pretty cool place. You know, bring your family. You have different shops, different things to do, you know, different restaurants. Oh, look, my nemesis, the merry-go-round. I hate merry-go-rounds. You know, those horses that look at you, that it looks like they, they want to, like, kill you when you ride it. And they spin around till you're dizzy. 
So enough of my rambling about the merry-go-round. So now we're looking at the 7D ride experience, a churro booth, a claw machine where, you know, you, you, you play the game, you spend a thousand to win a prize that's only worth a penny. And now we're walking. We have a stage where they do shows. And then it looks like we're walking. And it looks like we're getting to the back of the pier where they have the water. So let's make a little U-turn and start heading back and seeing what they have in the other side. So they have, it looks like some more games for kids and arcades. They have, oh, wow, the Build-A-Bear shop for little kids for stuffed animals and stuff. Yuck. The carousel. Oh, anyways, back to Build-A-Bear. So they have the Build-A-Bear shop where you can bring the kids. You know, they can get a stuffed animal, you know, the, whatever stuffed animal they want, and they just stuff it and then, you know, make your own. Oh, they have the Bay Plunge. You know, that ride where they bring you a thousand feet in the air, then all of a sudden, in two seconds, it looks like you fall, fell down like 10 stories. And then they have the Bow Wow kitty shop you know where you can buy accessories and stuff and oh look we have this kid who looks like he's training for the olympics go kid go Ooh, now we're passing the pearl factor you know that place where you buy a, like a clam and then you say dippity dippity do and then all of a sudden boom there's like some sort of a pearl in there and okay enough of that so now we're looking at ooh the magnet shop again you know for magnets and other stuff you want to do for your refrigerator and all that stuff. And then we have another store. Looks like you can get all your, uh, it's called Enlightenment. And then we have the sunglass shop, you know, in case you go, it's windy in San Francisco. And then your sunglass flies out so then you can buy your glasses, you know. And now we're looking at, ooh, the Pier Market Seafood Place. Let's check it out. Let's see what they have. Sourdough bread, clam chowder. Ooh, this guy, he's like grilling some stuff. Let's check it out and let's see if we can eat here or what they have to offer. Fish and chips. Let's walk inside. Let's check out the restaurant. So let's see. It's, they have tables, you know, you have a bar table if you know, if you want to drink and stuff. And then let's see what they have else. Oh, oh, you got a nice view of the water if you want to eat here. They have uh, plenty of table, it looks like. You know, let's see what else they have. Ooh, wow. They have tons of people in here. They must be all, they must be a good place because a lot of people are in here. Let's turn around. Let's again, let's look at the bar. It's a pretty nice bar. To, and let's see what else. Let's go outside. Maybe we'll try something else. Let's see. As we're going out, let's see what else they have in other restaurants. Ooh, we got the heating. In case it gets cold, they can turn on the heat for you. We got the gold store again. Oh, we got the I Love San Francisco. And uh, I think we're almost to the front again. So let's see if you missed anything. The Magic Store. And we have the Crepe Cafe. You know, sweet and savory. Desserts. You know, all the topics you want on crepes. Let's see what other stores we haven't mentioned. Oh, let me get up these stairs. You know me and stairs. I always eat it. Whoop, made it. So let's see what else they have. They have the Chocolate Store. You know, where you can buy all your sweets and candies. They have the gelato ice cream place, you know, where you can get all your uh, cold stuff. And then as we're going towards the front, let's see what else they have. Now, let's see if we haven't mentioned any shops. The Trish Mini Donuts. Um, well, guys, I think we pretty much mentioned all the stores already. And we checked them out really quick. So... You're asking me, is it worth it coming to Pier 39 in San Francisco, California? I would say yes, it is worth it. If you've never been here before, or if you're a family, or you know, just want to visit or spend a day, I would say yes, it's nice. The weather's cool. You have a lot of shops and restaurants, 
and kids activity. So yes, check it out. It's 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 worth it. So just make sure when you're here to be safe and watch your surroundings. And like always, guys, make sure to subscribe to Cat and Panda's food destination. And peace, love, and happiness, y'all.